In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Lalo at Town Hall 11 and point out some things that you might want to try in your next war. Stay tuned. guys joe here coming at you today from town hall 11 with another episode of quick tips now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at this base right here i don't even know don't ask but the attack itself was very very pretty and it was definitely adjusted and completed very successfully so we're going to take a look at the lalo army with the incorporation of the stone slammer the stone slammer adds a completely new dynamic to the town hall 11 lalo armies the town hall 10 lalo armies as well as the town hall 12. i mean it's just really really awesome siege weapons so as we look at this base you'll take a note of this section of the base over here that is got a lot of close defenses and really provides lanes for balloons to travel through this location really uninhibited minus this air sweeper located and pointed towards the west we also have an air sweeper here pointed towards the northeast and then as we look for our air defenses we do have two down in the south one right here that is within range of an archer queen attack and then also this one here that's located up here towards the north now notice where the archer queen is located she is on the outer wall so she can be lured or pulled out of the base by heroes in this situation and then if you notice the clan castle is also lurable uh the ring extends outside of the walls i mean it's it's perfect it's perfect now some of you might look at this base and say this is an absolute junk base i'm not going to disagree with you there however some of you out there might see this base and say i see stuff like that all the time so Let's go ahead and get this thing started. I don't want to hold you guys up too long. And we're going to start out with the first stage of this attack. It's really three phases with the Stone Slammer moving in on the Wizard Tower here, taking on the Inferno Tower. There are balloons inside the Stone Slammer. A Rage Spell will go down and target the Inferno Tower and the Air Defense. Now, I'm pretty positive that the Eagle Artillery was a part of this uh intent or a part of the targeting here it didn't necessarily go down the balloons pulled towards the cannon instead now the second stage is going to start up here in the northeast with the barbarian king and queen coming down on the map to take out the heroes as well as an air defense now hero levels level 50 level 50 they're kind of important and this is some one of those things that you have to kind of be uh, aware of so king is going to go in he's going to come up against that wall and he will lure the clan castle troops uh queen is on the outside poison spell down to assist slow down the defense or the defensive troops and then allow the queen to take them out before they actually reach her now she will take on the wizard tower she will step up and she will destroy the queen's altar the town hall and that air defense now that's one air defense down we still have three remaining and we also do have teslas that are popping up on the outside of the base we're at 19 percent and now the lalo portion of the attack will start now two hounds will come in and then four different groups of balloons realistically three different groups of balloons and a grand warden now he is going into an air sweeper so that's kind of not really good but he negotiates anyways with the assistance of the haste spells and then we have a wave of balloons that will come in from the western or the northwestern side of the base coming into that area that i pointed out before and realistically they're just going to basically group up here using a rage spell to really boot beef them up speed them up and push them through the air defenses now they will go through hit this final archer tower now following it up with the minions and at this point going in on the eagle Heal spell down for the final defenses as you go in into the two cannons, the mortar and the Tesla. And realistically, it's all cleaned up from there. I mean, really makes it look easy, but it's really just precise timing and how to read the base and understand what's happening with the base, regardless of how bad it looks or how poorly it's built. You have to notice these things and it's understandable if you don't, that's why I'm making this video. So other than that, that's gonna wrap us up guys. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching guys. It's time, oh, go, play, it's dance play. time. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my God.